I really am sorry. Oh, damn, son! Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Axel, and we're back for part two of uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, we saw in that first part that we really did get, you know, a lot more of Peter's school life, I felt like, and his personal stuff, and how he's reacting, obviously, to the blip, Tony's death, and really his feelings about MJ driving everything, right? So, I think that there is a lot going on, and it is all real fun. I mean, I'm enjoying the shit out of it. And I, I hope you guys are as well. If you're not, let me know why. And if you are, let me know why. I love to talk about this stuff. I think there's been a lot of comic pulls that have really made my experience for this enjoyable where they're mentioning the names of characters, uh, relationships that happen in the comic are sparking off, or at least being um, acknowledged, right? And so it really means a lot to me to see characters like Flash and, and Flash and Ned have connections to their comic counterparts despite being so different in many ways from their original versions right and not in necessarily any kind of meaningful ways but just in surface ways and so seeing those deeper connections remain right like flash is still a jerk right who still likes spider-man and you know ned is peter's friend uh, you know even if he looks different than he looks in the comic right or whatever that that is still very much based in the thing and then his relationship right that is a comic based relationship you can go check it out if you don't believe me uh i always suggest people to because spider-man comics are great for the majority of them it's why it's one of marvel's top selling titles easily and uh yeah so as always support the original content creators because without marvel we're not going to get more great spider-man i mean we are this december regardless but yeah, and then we're going to get back into this, uh, you know, first reaction because uh, this is my first time watching and I am laughing so hard. Campus science, we're leaving because of witches. Welcome to the new dark ages. <laughs> what is going on, dude? As a man of oh, science, morning. witches. All the elementals are gone. Ned. Night. Night. You look nice. Honestly, even there, she is such a good version like she didn't harp him for where he was she didn't she was just like yep hey hey uh look um hey hey uh so where do you want to go uh i don't know who cares awesome okay let's go guys if a if a girl agrees to just go out with you with no plan she likes you you know they used to execute people mj i i'm spider-man that's what you were going to say, that you're Spider-Man. No. I'm not Spider-Man. I mean, I've been watching you for, like, a while now. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> I'm not Spider-Man. I mean, and also on the news, it was the Night Monkey. The Night Monkey? Yeah, that's what it said on the news. And the news never lies. <laughs> night Monkey. Okay. What are you She's doing? got his stuff. <laughs> Well, do the Night Monkey and Spider-Man use the same webs? I mean, maybe. Maybe he's a spider monkey. Who knows? <laughs> spider monkey. Come on, man. She caught you. Just come out and maybe say it. You me because you thought I was Spider-Man? You thought that maybe... Yep, the image inducer. The hell was that? And now he knows. I am Spider-Man. That projector is evidence. It's going to tell people what we're doing and how we're doing it. I am trying to fool 7 billion people here, including Nick Fury, who happens to be the most paranoid and most dangerous person on the planet. And if he catches on before I've killed him, then he will put a bullet in my head. And nobody wants a bullet in their head. Right? Right? Oh, he might have just slipped off the edge. Look at me. suit and I have to go to Berlin to talk to Mr. Fury in person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, come on, girl. Look, look. Please don't say a fucking word. Princess Castle, she knows I told her. He didn't tell me. I figured it out. Oh. That's cool. Like a long time ago. Goodbye. So, you know, too. It's cool. Um, I mean, I've known first and I've known longer, but it's like competition. <laughs> <laughs> this is such an awkward teen movie, and those always make me cringe so bad. I, I I'm such a cringer. Yeah, I think he'll be all right if there's a car accident. He is actually tougher than a regular human being, base level. You need to be smart. Who else did you tell about this? Parker? Parker! Uh-oh. It's back. He's here. What? Hill? Oh, damn. Good one. That's a lot of illusion tech. This is Mysterio level. This is Mysterio level stuff here. This is cool, man. This is really good visual stuff. And it, it really does match the comics because the way Mysterio used to do this in the comics were with these holographic projection cubes and, and science, right? Like on the side, special effects mostly, right? Explosions, etc. Maybe Tony would still be alive. Okay. Wow, they really went for it. Now you have Nick Fury, baby. Son, sorry, I know I blew the mic up on that one, but that one is a rough. Access files to Peter Parker's class trip. I need them to fly home from London. I was about to say, I don't know about that one. Even Spider Man might not live through a fucking trade to the face, dog. Fuck. I mean, he's a tough cat, but that also looks like a pretty fast train. I was about to say, there was no way Fury just ended it like that. And then the story was over, you know what I mean? <laughs> Poor kid. Nice guys. Not everyone who's in jail is a bad guy. And they're just in day jail. I'm in the Netherlands right now. That's rough. He's like, goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Night monkey. Yeah. <laughs> they caught Night Monkey. <laughs> and they're okay. gone. Nope, they stayed. <laughs> Smart men. They'd probably already been processed. Hang on. Uh, could you say that into there? Uh, hi. Uh, is Book or Blangadek here? Huh? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Did you 
about that? Who did he call? Maria Hill? Because Nick Fury is probably not dead. Nick Fury never really dies. He's Nick Fury. He just disappears into another life model decoy. Tell me something only you would know. Only I would know. Uh, you know what, remember we went to Germany? You pay-per-viewed a video in your room? They didn't list the titles, but I could tell by the price it was an adult film at the front desk, and you didn't know how I okay, knew? Okay, okay, fine, it's you, it's you, it's you, stop! <laughs> <laughs> It was a dope film, but you couldn't tell how I knew. <laughs> Thank God. No one ever shows that. They always show him grinning through it. That shit hurts. Oh, my God. Relax. Don't tell him to relax, Happy. How can I relax when I messed up so bad? What are you going to do about it? There you go. I'm going to kick his ass. Hell yeah. Like, specifically, what are we going to do? Because we've been hovering over a tulip field for the last 15 minutes. Right. Uh, London, okay. Yeah, I need a suit. A suit? He's like, I got you. <laughs> or is it a suit making station? Okay, he's gonna make okay, a suit. Um, what? Nothing. You take care of the suit. I'll take Enough care to of bring me. a tear to your eyes, guys. Really is. Oh, I love Led Zeppelin. Oh my God. Brad, why do you think it's cool to take pictures of people in the bathroom? Yeah, dude. That Told like? you that wasn't cool. No, no, it wasn't like that. It was. Uh, I, I, I was uh, trying to let's take just a... put all this craziness behind us and have a nice peaceful afternoon. Sounds great, Mr. Harrington. So the glass. Okay. I told you the bathroom thing wasn't cool. You gotta stop doing that, okay? It is weird. No more phones in the bathroom. You don't know? Four stalls. Okay? Look at that, Mr. Harrington. I told you, man, it's just not right. <laughs> I'm So he didn't kill Fury. He faked killing Fury even the first time. Okay. Damn, he ran hard on that. You're an FOS now. Find the Spider Man. And you have to remember, just stay calm. That is actually funny because that's a real acronym. Yeah, that doesn't look good. From what I remember, that they've used that. <laughs> but I could be wrong, like I was with Night Monkey, so I'm not an infallible comic expert by any means. I'm surprised they wouldn't be monitoring Happy, but if they know Happy from working, maybe they're just kind of underestimating him. Wow, it's nano printing that shit, it looks like. That's crazy. There's the water one, yeah. The drones! Flash! <laughs> Uh, he's a combo of all of them. Stay sticky, baby. <laughs> nice, he's got a spider-shaped parachute. Is that even slowing him, or is it not popped out yet? See, now that's some bullshit. And the... Yes! Fuck yes! Fuck yes! That is a cool ass one. That's awesome. That it does look pretty dope, though. All you guys do is take out... Start taking them out. What did she pull out? That looks like a gun Bucky would use. 
in when he's the man on the wall kind of shit, bro. He's gonna glue them all together. Oh, nice. The taser webbing. Rocket launcher, gotcha. I gotcha. Didn't quite save himself there. That is a lot of drones, son. Kill it, kill kill no, I'm not gonna kill it. They'll see. They'll see what I want them to see. They still need the cake. Taking them out, though. Damn. The British military putting in work, son. Actually, I'm not sure if they're military or what they exactly are, but... Damn, that is a hell of a gun, baby. Come on, Happy. You got this. Or MJ's got this. There you go. Like, what's he gonna do with the shield? <laughs> That's cool. Right, but against an endless amount of drones, it gets real rough, man. Damn, Annie's on fire. That had to be a fun. Nice. Nice, I knew he was gonna too. Wow, this has a lot of explosive drone fighting. This is a big action sequence. What's he doing now? Oh, he's giving himself a... Mm, nice. Wow, that was cool, man. Oh. That looked like it hurt. They're using sonic cannons. Oh, that looked like it really hurt. Without killing Fury, he ain't gonna be able to spin it anyway, so he's definitely still gotta kill Fury. Cool. Producers there, though. Spider-Man's aunt. We're sharing, right? <laughs> oh my god! I love this, by the way. Showing him tinkering in the middle of battle, he's is literally a genius. This is a cool scene here. Oh, there we go, illusion tech. Back into the illusion. Now listen to your spidey sense. Come on, Peter Zingle. <laughs> Man, this is... Cool, but also so CGI. Holy shit, there's so much going on. Obviously, that had to be. You're in the strike zone. The chance of getting hit is... Fire all the drones now! He ends up getting himself killed, huh?
It's gotta be more than this, right? That would be a bit anticlimactic. You do deserve that. Listen to his Peter tingle. Execute them all. Confirmed. I was about to say, be very, very careful with that choice of wording. <laughs> Execute them all could mean a couple things. Give me the spear. So did he... He did get shot? People. Didn't you believe? And nowadays... They don't believe anything. Good line, but not a... Not the strongest of deaths. Busy. I wrote it all down and I was gonna buy you this. I gave it to Paris and talk. Oh. Now you're gonna kiss me. <laughs> I don't really have much luck when it comes to getting close to people. So they I did it. I wasn't just watching you because I thought you were. Oh. I need to speak with him. He'll call you. He'll call. <laughs> yeah, Happy doesn't give two shits. <laughs> but he better. Yeah, he better. You don't even think about ghosting me. <laughs> you ghosted Nick Fury? Okay then. Could mother not make it? That's rough. Although the real, the original Flash was definitely not like that necessarily. He had his own thing going. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. No, for real, I'm good. Is he writing a ticket? Fine. Son of a bitch. So it's time for the truth to be out there. That's an interesting, uh, <laughs> we all are interconnected. <laughs> Can't. That was too much. Yes, no. That was just a summer fling. <laughs> Don't text and swing. <laughs> That is super cool, the glider man, to add it in. You ready? Yeah? You're gonna love this. That was cute. There's got there's probably two credit scenes in this if I had to make a guess. Look at Ned's face in that caricature. <laughs> what the hell? There we go. All right. Jameson. <laughs> that was perfect. I was waiting and I was like, it's gotta be some. It's gotta be some. All right, so because they had regular credits, now these credits, there might not be anything after these. I, I would, I wouldn't be. I knew, fucking knew it. And then I accidentally spoiled it for myself just there. Really? That's such a shitty thing. Fuck you, iTunes. Oh, that was so funny, guys. Oh my goodness.
You got it, Tommy. Look at scrolls. The little boy handled it. We helped. Uh oh. How was I supposed to know that the whole thing was fake? Yeah. Shortly after that. It really kind of went off the rails, and so we need you to come back because everyone kept asking me where the Avengers are, and I don't know what to say to that. So, <laughs> he's on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> that green screen don't look all that great, but a hey. oh, there you go. Okay, it wasn't a green. That's because it was a you know an image. Oh, Stanley and Ditko. That was cool, guys. That was fucking cool. I, I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed watching that pretty much through and through. There were a couple things that I think could have used improvements or maybe been done differently, but overall, that was a really awesome way to do it. Even the ending there with Nick Fury where it's like, well, how did Nick Fury get tricked? Because it's not Nick Fury. He... It was good, man. I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, there's so many things to talk about. The Ned relationship. You've got the whole Mysterio thing, right? Just using Mysterio, who really is not a top-tier Spider-Man villain. I mean, he is higher tier, I guess, in comparison to some others, but... <clears throat> when you name <clears throat> a Spider-Man villain, it's probably not Mysterio. Might be. If it is, cool. If you really like Quentin Beck, awesome. But he had even been dead in, for, in the comics for quite a while. I think they would brought him back recently, or it was a different person being Mysterio. I can't remember. There was a whole thing about it. Uh, so it's cool that like a lot of those things play into this. And then, obviously, getting the after credit scenes was super awesome to see, you know, like, how it affects him now, like, with, with him being framed, basically. <coughs> And then just also some of the other things like uh, the scrolls being, you know, Nick being on a spaceship is probably going to come into play during the Marvels. It seems like they're really building the web out. And I really enjoyed the fact that they used the actual actors. It looked like maybe they, that, that it was them who were in previous movies to be Tony Stark's henchmen. I mean, there's a lot of good things going on to tie it into old MCU stuff to the present. I think for me, the biggest criticism I have of the whole thing is the finish with Beck. I think that could have been done with a little bit more power. Despite the fact that his last words were very good and relative even in the present day, right? Like, that's the problem with people today is they'll believe anything, and they really will, unfortunately. Um, with that being said, guys, I don't want to bore you half to death with a half hour of talking, right? Like, you saw my reaction, and if we want to do a review of this, I'd like to do a more in-depth review where I take my notes and kind of, you know, get a good grasp of it when I say things instead of just saying whatever pops into my dumbass head. And uh, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Super special shout out to the patrons because without you guys, I could not make these. And I definitely wouldn't be getting them on to YouTube for other people, uh, you know. So thank you guys so much. As always, remember to support the original content creator because Marvel and Sony make some great stuff. And if we want to see some more of it, we've got to pay that moolah, baby. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed watching with us, like, comment so we can talk about it, subscribe to see more stuff, even hit the bell to get notifications when we drop new videos. Or you could always check us out on Discord. It's a little easier to chat with us on our Discord channel than it is on the YouTube comments. So you can check that out in the link below. And have a great time, guys. This has been, uh, you know, Axel Grave on Reactions with an ex-Spider-Man, Far From Home. Man, I can't wait for the next one in December.